Welcome back. I'm Ian, I'm a massage therapist, and I'm gonna stop you. I I know, I know I don't have a uterus. I know I palpated, and there's just nothing there. But I do know a bit about pain, and I know how pain refers. When we talk about referred pain, we're talking about pain in one area actually coming from the dysfunction of another area. For instance, just using this as an out of the blue example, uterine pain can refer to the back and it can refer to some other places as well, but that's one of its primary referral sites. Something that you may not know is that if you work on the area that has that relationship, you can change what referred it in the first place. So what I'm saying is, if we were to work with this low back, we might be able to reduce the pain of uterine cramping. So, your uterus is comprised of smooth muscle and other stuff inside that is a complete mystery to me. But when it cramps, it's a muscle that's completely out of your control. It's an involuntary muscle and sometimes it goes overboard. Sometimes it tries too hard and this area is very rich with nerve endings and when that happens, there can be pain. So, of course, if you have excessive pain, please do go see your doctor, but if you have traveled that road and it's given you as much as it can, try these tips and see if they help. There's Nothing revolutionary here, but I think there might be some things that people haven't tried. So, first of all, let's talk about your back and about these places that are being referred to. First, in order to do this massage, I need you to find your sacrum. It's a triangular piece of bone. I'm outlining it with my fingers and thumbs right here. At the base of it is your coccyx, your tailbone. You'll find that in your butt crack. And on the sides and at the top, that is your sacrum, this triangular piece of bone. You'll be able to find it by feeling for these two knobs right about here. They'll be right around where those dimples are if you have those, not everyone has those. So see if you can feel those two knobs. If you can't, find the tops of your pelvis so the top of the left and right side of your pelvis and follow them back and back and back and back and down and you should find those two knobs. Then from there down you should feel a blade of bone, just a flat landscape that's very knobby and gristly and it feels kind of weird. That is your sacrum. Uh, your sacrum is just an extension of your spine. It's actually a whole bunch of fused vertebrae, which were probably a tail at some point. Don't worry about that. So your sacrum can be worked with in such a way that it can reduce the pain that you have in your viscera. And this can actually be any sort of visceral pain, including from gas and from constipation. Everything that I show you in the video today is actually really good for the rest of this region. But these first two points I'm going to show you are especially good for uterine cramps. So, find those two knobs on your back, and we're going to be using this tool. We're going to be using our thumbs. Hadouken! We're going to be using our thumbs and keeping them somewhat straight and using them to press in. We're not going to be swiveling our thumbs like this. That's a good way of getting really tired really fast. No, we're just going to be pressing in just above those two knobs. And now I want you to sit there for about a minute while you breathe. If the cramping is bad enough, you might find yourself in the fetal position. You might find yourself um, not wanting to breathe and that's fine. Making this contact just above those two knobs can do everything by itself. What I don't want is for you to sink in really hard, really fast. I want you to apply probably five pounds of pressure on either side using either thumb and allow those to just sit there. You're going to let those thumbs sink in as you try to smooth out your breathing and make it deeper. 
The next position is going to be just to the inside of those two knobs. Now we're going to be on the sacrum itself. And again, we're just going to spend about a minute here breathing easily. <sighs> By now, hopefully some things are calming down. The pain has lessened a bit. By the way, if you want to do this in a chair, say maybe you're at the office and you don't want to look, you know, like a weirdo, you can use your fists. So I'm using these knuckles right here and you can press these knuckles against the back of your chair and lean back onto them and that's going to activate those pressure points which is pretty cool. Now what you can do from here after you've done those two pressure point holds the one just above those two knobs these are called the posterior superior iliac spines by the way you don't need to know that. Uh, just above these two knobs here and in massage we call them the PSIS because that other thing I said was way too long. Okay, just to the inside and just above are the two points that we've touched so far. And now I want you to just rub the blade of that bone. If it doesn't feel like muscle, if it just feels like gristle, if it just feels like popping connective tissue, you're on it. Uh, and this is what I'm doing. I'm just finding a place, I'm rubbing around, finding a new place, rubbing around, finding a new place, rubbing around. It's a, it's a very small area, about this big. And you can go down toward the tailbone and there will be some good stuff in there too. But stay on the flat of that bone. And th that's the active part of the massage. If you want to get yourself out of crisis mode, if you find yourself in a lot of pain and you'd like to get out of it, hold above for a minute or two, hold to the inside for a minute or two, and find some nice places to dig in and rub on that sacrum. If you find your sacrum getting sore, you've used too much pressure, dial it back a bit, be nice, be nice to that sacrum. Now, the last thing that I'd like you to try is a static hold. This is something that I got from a massage modality called polarity. It's an energy technique. I can't say that I believe in the stuff behind it, but polarity is really cool and it feels good. It's the art of connecting two points on the body. The first point we're going to be connecting to is that sacrum. You don't have to use precise anatomy when you make contact with that what you're doing is a laying on of hands. You are applying 0.5 pounds of pressure. You're applying nearly no pressure whatsoever. You're just allowing your presence to be there. The second point that you're going to be contacting is the area just under your navel. And again, very little pressure. You're just making your presence known. You're allowing the warmth of your hands to sink in and you're allowing your mental presence to sink into that area between your hands. And hopefully, with these two contacts, you'll feel a bit of a connection between the two. You'll also feel a lot of rumbling and grumbling. Uh, connecting in this way is a really good way of getting everything in your abdomen and in your pelvic region to not only chill out, but maybe become a little bit more active if they haven't been moving too much. So it's great for constipation. But this is also good for menstrual cramps. What I'd like for you to do is to have the idea of love and kindness and acceptance in your mind. I know you're in pain, but it would be nice to shoot some acceptance this way. and sit with that for as long as you like. This is not something that you can do too much of. And allow yourself to breathe, allow these abdominal muscles to become softer and softer. Your abdomen's going to poke out just a bit as you do that, but that's okay. All right, and this is a very special message to 
the boyfriends of the world and the girlfriends and the husbands and wives of all of the women in the world. If you have a significant other who has a uterus, sometimes it might be nice if you were to place a comforting hand on their back right where their sacrum is and just leave it there. They might be, you know, in the fetal position, but this is a safe place to make contact that can actually help. I don't recommend doing both contacts yourself unless you have a certain amount of trust between the two of you and a certain amount of freedom of communication. Just because this contact on the abdomen can seem a little threatening when there's so much happening right here. So, this contact will likely be welcome as long as you ask first. Do you mind if I place my hand here? Something along those lines. Okay, that's my massage for menstrual cramps. Uh, leave me some messages in the comments. Let me know if I'm full of it and should take my man-based ideas elsewhere. Uh, but also let me know if this works. I'm interested to see if this is as successful for other people as I found it to be. For, not for me, but... And, uh, so leave me comments, uh, subscribe, and I will see you next time. Thank you so much.